Hey, hi, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Wednesday, the 26th of February, 2020. We're using Wheel of the Year Tarot for our message today. Our card from the bottom of the deck. This is our main energy theme for the day. The Hanged Man. <laughs> Pause for enlightenment. Allow it to flow in. This, this often feels like a channeled message card for me, a message incoming. We're channeling it. We will be spontaneously enlightened when I see this card. Also, I love how it's done in this deck. Does it not look like he's in some sort of cocoon or that he is emerging from? Mm. Yeah, so that's potentially how it happens for us today. The gradual emergence of enlightenment and it really does feel like a whispered channeled message from our guides from our angels there's nothing you need to do the dials are already turned all the way up I mean we've got a retrograde happening in Pisces <laughs> so your intuition is lit right up uh, and it's helping us see in review you know we will sort through sift through thoughts feelings uh, during retrogrades and it's so nice to see the hanged man there because you can pause for the enlightenment there is a bit of stillness on this card as well there's a lot happening uh, because there is an emerging energy and you know look at the rays of light coming in on this card they haven't quite touched his head but just right there <laughs> so that's the feeling if you try if you push it you'll you'll widen the gap between you and the message so just being allowing be in some sort of stillness breathe into peace and yeah let it come first card <laughs> how perfect right the knight of wands oh he's not quite as impetuous as the knight of swords though he is impassioned and he is easily distracted in his mission so this is a uh, between the hanged man and the knight of wands you've got a a push pull there's the there's the desire to try to really tune in deep and work really hard at getting your intuitive message and it really does push it further away from us so this is the tug of war we may find ourselves in you know we can feel the essence of something in the periphery of our intuitive gifts and the inclination is to lean deep into that when stillness would serve us better so that's a bit of enlightenment for managing, accommodating for the fiery passion of the Knight of Wands. He's holding the Ace of Wands. That's creative fire, passion, vitality, virility. Uh, you know, we really want to dive right in. <laughs> this is raw enthusiasm. So embrace your raw enthusiasm while simultaneously allowing the enlightenment whispered channeled messages to flow in coming with this <laughs> you just have to love the tarot there's the knight of pentacles there's the stillness so it's wonderful that these two are together and you know the knight of pentacles holds the ace our doorway of opportunity and we're stepping across that threshold within our intuitive gifts today by allowing that to come in by by embracing the kind of stillness that the knight of pentacles does he he's the only one not in motion in tarot uh in terms of the knights he's the one who stands still he looks at everything he garners his gains and he He pauses before taking an action. He's exceptionally reliable. He always fulfills his mission. He gets there. He's just not in a rush about it because there's a lot to savor along the way. So here's the stillness. 
here's the enthusiasm, and here's the enlightenment incoming. Coming with this. Yeah, the Ace of Wands arrives. <laughs> it's wonderful. Now it's a divine and cosmic gift. By pausing for enlightenment, by allowing your intuition to guide you, inform you in its own pace, in its own right way, it delivers the Ace of Wands. So there's pure, raw, divine, loving light flowing in. There's enthusiasm, anticipation, excitement, wonder, awe, of course, passion. This is an exceptionally passionate card. And it's it's all about how we are in love with our lives and the creative contribution we make to that. What do we do with it? How do we work with it? Coming with this is the Six of Swords. So the universe is infusing us with raw passion and creativity. We are lit up. This is why we have the feeling of the Knight of Wands. We just want to gallop away with it, you know? And instead, we have to embrace some kind of stillness for allowing. I do feel here the Six of Swords is moving from a challenging situation to a more favorable situation. And this is a great card that demonstrates the tug of war going on within us for stillness and acting creatively, passionately upon our enthusiasm. Enlightenment is what is going to win the day for us. The blossoming of this enlightenment is so much more fulfilling than some moderately <laughs> impetuous action. <laughs> so we are on the six moving. We are changing the way we're thinking. We could be challenging some really challenging thought and belief patterns and upgrading the frequency of them to more happiness, more enthusiasm, more excitement, and celebration of the love that we are. So the six is often a card where we feel we've moved on from something that was previously negative or challenging for us. So there's a little bit of a a cloud hanging over the enthusiasm of this energy, which is why we might want to take the leap of um, take the leap with the the Knight of Wands. You know, he really does want to get going, but he gets distracted way too easily. He's absolutely for me uh, the oh look something shiny. I have to go investigate that night. Whereas you have the the Knight of Pentacles who says, oh, look, something shiny. I'm going to allow my long range vis vision to work out what that is before I even move toward it. Strike the balance there today. Find the middle way. Because as you do, you get the enlightenment you require to settle, sort whatever is on the Six of Swords for you. Whatever thought, feeling has been circling, you know, the vulture thoughts, <laughs> the ones we chase our tails over, we're about to satisfy that, and in the in doing so, we create an Ace of Wands scenario for ourselves. Next set of cards, High Priestess. Well, there it is again in confirmation for you that you're receiving some universal guidance. It's definitely worth being in receiving and allowing for. The, the High Priestess is our inner oracle. She's our intuitive gift. And this is the quiet, steady, consistent voice that whispers to us. This is the one we pause for enlightenment about. And her message, too, is very similar. You know, she goes great with this Knight of Pentacles because she's a being of discretion. She won't give you the answers. She'll certainly point you in the right direction and allow whatever the message is to develop within you. And that's what pausing for enlightenment does here in the day. So she's absolutely a confirmation card in the reading. She kind of anchors the energy for us here and tempers the alchemy of opposites here between the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, which allows for the Ace of Wands. Beautifully done. So pay attention to you. Certainly 
gaze at the things that are shiny and would pull your attention away. But come back over and over to your heart space. Come back to your intuitive gifts because you are being illuminated and enlightened today. You know, it feels a bit like, in very mundane terms, people watching. You know, when you're at the grocery store, you're minding your own business, doing your own shopping, you can't help but notice the people and their energy around you at times. And you have to have a level of stillness within your perception in order to sort the energy that you're sensing, reading, feeling, knowing about what's in the environment around you. And that's how this happens today. Coming with the High Priestess, the Hermit. <laughs> More enlightenment, it's right there in his lamp. We start the reading with it, we end the reading with it. Not only is it on the incoming here, like I said earlier, it hasn't quite touched his head, but it's actually reached him, Ace of Wands, and then been carried forward in a lantern. So we're moving on with it. The Hermit's card is actually a message of a quest beckons. And my feeling is we're already well on the quest here. We're well into it. Now we're reading the writing on the walls here. You know, he's reading the runes that have been carved into the wall. He's getting a message. He's been enlightened enough to know that you find the stillness and the quiet that you require in order to read the signs that are put right there before you. And the illumination comes from the raw enthusiasm, optimism, wonder, and awe on the Ace of Wands. So it's right there in the middle of the reading. You're in a transformation of the way you think, feel, believe, and you're allowing for your intuitive gifts to continue to inform you and enlighten you throughout the day. And then once you've received that, and you know the feeling when you get it, you know what it feels like when it drops in and you have the epiphany, aha, then you move even deeper into your quest, hermit, and continue to read the signs before you. Beautiful. What an excellent retrograde message. We are being schooled <laughs> by the universe in a retrograde in Pisces. You got to love that. Angel answers. Ask a question. <laughs> I've got one turning over here in my hands. And look, we get the weight card. You know where that goes. Right there with that night. <laughs> Wait. I'm switching the word up to pause and allow for the enlightenment. <laughs> the enlightenment's there in that coin, too. It's a, it's a new consideration. What have I not considered? And you have to know the universe is going to answer that question. With an ace of wands. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Yes, ask a question if you have one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allow the cards to be a fresh message for further confirmation. This one's back in the near future. Mm. Yeah, this is one of those readings that may not happen in the course of one day. You know, it could be, it could be several days of this type of energy unfolding. When the Ace of Wands shows up, you feel it in all of your physical senses, in all of your intuitive senses. And that can create a ripple within our energy field that, that ripples out quite a ways. And it upgrades our broadcast. So this is in the near future. If you asked a timing question, well, there's that simple answer. We are in a pause, though, hence the in the near future. It's developing. It's happening. It's waving through our beings. And if you are in a situation and circumstance and you are curious about how that's unfolding, know that it's in the wave and that we're busy sorting it. Not even busy. We're just allowing for the sorting of energies and for the horizon to become a little more clear as we gaze at it. Okay, now we've got <laughs> three cards falling out. 
Mm, don't you love seeing this one in repetition? No need to worry. That's right, because this whole thing is taking care of itself. And your participation, your contribution is your wonder, your enthusiasm, your excited anticipation, and your willingness to be in stillness with your arms and hearts wide open to receive. Next, the situation will improve. It is in the process of. That's going with the six. This is an upgrade of frequency in thought, action, deed, word, and potential challenge to our belief system where we let something go that no longer serves us. And then we have the get more information card. What a perfect card. You don't have to go get it. It's on its way to you. You're channeling it. How's that? <laughs> All right. Our affirmation card from the universe has our back today is the moment I embrace my peace within. Mm, confirmation. <laughs> Love that. And surrender. Excuse me. The moment I embrace the peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Yes. Absolutely. That one card confirms it all. Stand there with your arms wide open. Yield to your intuitive gifts. Allow the universe to inform you and illuminate you with an ace of wands. Let your creative fire blaze. Let it blaze. Make space for that. <laughs> and then our spirit animal for the day is the hawk. Mm. That's a deep card. Hawk, bring, hawk spirit brings a lot of different messages. So definitely read up on this card for yourself. <laughs> I love that we have the sun here because that's more illumination for us, more clarity, brilliant clarity even. And then the hawk has exceptionally clear vision. Look to your horizon with that kind of vision and bring to peace the things that vex you. <laughs> An old belief system, old thoughts, vulture thoughts, whatever circling, allow it to burn off in the sun and have a clear vision. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Peace, love, joy, blessings to each of you. Namaste.